guys, we got one more video to, to do today, and uh, I wanted to go over the uh, the Tesla app on my iOS on my on my iPhone. So I kind of wanted to go over it and show you guys some cool features that it has to offer. And uh, if you guys don't have a Tesla, you guys can kind of get a look at the app and see how it interacts with the car. So let's get started on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, before I start it. Let's go ahead and click on the Tesla application here. And uh, right off the get-go, it kind of shows you your uh, the color of your car. It tells you your your range here. Uh, gives your address on here, and which I'll have to blur out. <laughs> Don't want you to know where I'm living, right? Um, and it has a lot of other cool stuff around here. You can summon um, if you click on this little uh, you know three the three uh, looks like a Model E symbol actually. Um, it gives you some other stuff you can put into valet mode. You can turn your notifications on and off your calendar. You can sign out if you'd like to. So let's go ahead and get that back over here. So let's go ahead and click on, um, we'll get back to summon and stuff. Uh, this is a new, one thing I just noticed, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going random here, is I noticed that there's actually a button here called referrals. It's something new that I didn't, I never seen before in the app. That basically allows you to, uh, you know, each friend you refer until October 15th, we'll get a thousand dollar credit. So you can actually choose your friends. It'll go through your contacts in your phone and then you can select each one of them and then it automatically will send an email out. So hopefully you know friends that can afford a car. I, I got a couple that I might have in mind, but uh, uh, other friends, if I sent them that email, they'd probably get mad at me because it's like, hey, I can't afford that. So it's a very expensive car. But uh, let's go back to the main screen here. So it's loading again. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's click on controls. So, and I'm gonna actually uh, put my phone down for a second and show you the controls inside of the car itself too. Let's go to controls and let's go to sunroof. So right now you can see the sunroof is closed. And in here you can actually say, once it loads again, you can say vent roof. So if I hit vent roof right now, see how it automatically hit put it in vent there and then if I close it here and you can kind of get an overview of it it closes it so it's basically interactive pretty responsive there you go which is pretty neat so you can also click on start up top here so if I click start right now um, this is kind of neat it says allow keyless driving you have two minutes to press the brake and start driving enter my your my Tesla password we're not going to do that right now but uh, so this allows you like if for some reason you lost your keys you could hit start you could put your password in hit the brake and it's gonna allow you to drive your car without no keys in it as long as your phone's inside the car you're good to go which is pretty neat so just in case you like you lost your keys while you're out or something um, you're still gonna be able to drive or get inside your car same thing here if you did lose your keys you can lock and unlock the car so if I go ahead and hit lock right now and you can see uh, up here in the upper right hand side this button here basically locks your car so let's say that you were like charging, maybe you're gonna take a little nap, you just hit the lock button, it locks, it pulls your handles in and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and unlock it. And uh, let's go ahead and hit lock on our app here, ready? And you can kind of see up top, it's gonna to change as well. It takes a little bit of time, there we go. It also like brought my mirrors in as well. So let's go ahead and unlock it. Yes. One thing I noticed that is when you do unlock it, it doesn't automatically open your mirrors. You have to kind of hit the button down here and it'll open them up for you. So again, I'm gonna hit the lock button and you guys can see that my my actual mirrors will fold in and the actual handle will retract as well. Here we go. And then when you unlock it, again, the mirrors don't retract out. Maybe that's not a feature. I think once you open the door they will. I'm gonna go ahead and just retract them back out again myself. All right, and you can honk the horn, which I'm not gonna do, that'll be super loud, and you can flash the lights. Those are standard stuff that you can do with cars. Um, let's go to the charge area, and we'll go to the charge area in our car as well. And if you look at the charge limit right now on the car, I have it to the full maximum, right? And the reason that is because I'm going on a wine tour here um, tomorrow. I want to make sure it has a full charge, but uh, you can actually set your charge limit here or you can do it in your app as well. So if I hit set charge limit and then I just kind of crank her into here, 
and see how, see how automatically kind of corresponds. Let's go all the way over there. Come on, there you go. Now she's maximum. Easy enough. So let's go ahead and get out of there. And uh, so that's basically that. Let's go to climate control. And you can see right now it's at 66 degrees down here on the controls. Um, let's go ahead and set it up for, uh, let's go ahead and crank her up to like 68 degrees. And you'll see that it'll eventually sync up and change. It goes at 69, 69 there as well. And then it's a little really warm out today, so I'm going to go ahead and crank her back down to 67. Now the cool thing about this is like if you're sitting, maybe you're charging at a supercharger and or it's cold and it's winter time, you can actually turn off or on the climate and, and get it you know pre-warmed uh, or pre-cooled for you, which is really neat. Another cool thing here is the location. So you can actually like find the exact location where your car is at versus your phone. And then you can say get directions and it'll allow you to find exactly where your car is at, which is really neat. Let's go back here. So that's basically part, that's mostly what the app's all about. Let me um, let me do some more demonstration for you. We're going to do a summon where we're going to bring it in and out of the, we won't bring it all the way out of the garage, but I'll move it forward and backwards so you guys can see it. I don't really recommend using summon with the app, um, even though the app does drop connection and will automatically stop your car. But it's um, obviously you're you're having to worry about your connection between the car, the internet, and your phone and the internet, right? So um, I recommend that you use your key fob to summon your car in and out. But uh, let me go ahead and show you that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of the car and I'll show you guys. All right, so it's pretty pretty bright out here, and we're in my garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the app once again, and you can see my car is kind of sitting here. It's not plugged in. Obviously, you can't move the car if it's plugged in. But I'm going to click on Summon, if you can see it. And then now you can go forward or reverse. So we're going to go reverse. And I'm going to, you can kind of see my app and the car. So I'm going to hit reverse right now. The mirror should fold in. There we go. Here it goes backwards. Let's go ahead and stop it. All right. And then we can go forward as well. Here we go. Again, I don't really recommend um, doing this too much. I'd rather use the key fob to do it. And another cool thing inside the summon area is you do have your home link button. I just noticed inside of here as well. So it's going to close my door, my garage door now if I wanted to, too, which I do. So, all right. So last but not least, I'll show you what it looks like when it's charging. So a lot of times, like you might be, let's go ahead and grab the the, the actual charger. A lot of times you might be like uh, waiting for the car to charge. You might be eating somewhere, um, and you want to know when your car is charged. Like how maybe like you want to know how, how much charge is happening, what's left. And the cool thing about it is the the actual app will tell you what's happening. So it says here I summon aborted started and charging started at 132. It tells you like when it started. It'll also tell you when it's. You're almost ready to go so if you have a trip it'll say hey you got enough charge to, to continue a trip which which is really neat so if we click on our charge here it basically will show you that it's charging charging four minutes remaining and it gives you all your information what's going on here which is really neat very intuitive application I, I, you can put it on your iPad as well if you'd like but um, <laughs> it's better it's best on your phones I think they do have an Android app as well I haven't actually had a chance to look at that one so that's basically the um, Tesla app, and uh, it's a really cool um, feature to have. We've used it tons of times going across the country. Um, it definitely alerts me, lets me know you know how much charging is left, and uh, it's just been amazing to have that. So, alrighty, guys, peace. We'll see you later. Oh, if you like Tesla Tim, subscribe to our channel.